So the other day, my roommate and I got to talking about reincarnation, which is the idea that when you die, you are reborn as either an animal or a human or something higher, depending on how you lived your life. And he was saying to me, can you imagine what that would be like to close your eyes in this body and die and then open them again and you're looking out of the eyes of a newborn baby. And I realized two things in this moment. One, I needed to buy more of this weed. <laughs> and two, that that is why babies cry when they are born. They open their eyes, look around and go, hey, wait a minute, I'm back? No! It was supposed to be eternal rest, not another round of this bullshit. Like, I already beat this game, come on, man! Oh, no, war. Oh, God, disease. M. Night Shyamalan movies. No, no! All right, that does it. I am going to be pure evil this time around. I will kill as soon as I'm physically able. I will topple governments and trample nations. Like, y'all should just bow down now. You're in the presence of the only God there is. Little known fact, when Joan of Arcadia was martyred for Christianity, burnt alive for her beliefs, when instead of the pearly brick gates and a heavenly host of angels to greet her, she suddenly found herself staring out the eyes of a small German boy. She was so pissed off, she went on to start a world war. And speaking of babies, the Earth just welcomed its eight billionth one. Eight billion humans live on this planet now. No, do not applaud. That is a humongous problem, okay? <laughs> but there's an obvious solution to the population crisis that no one is talking about, and that is Oral we need bodies. is that we need more birth control options for men. Right? Okay? Historically speaking, you know, due to patriarchal bullshit reasons, birth control has been a woman's responsibility. However, and that's also the main reason why there are 14 different options for women. Guys, how many do we have? Condoms and pulling out. That's it. And let's be honest, both of them kind of suck. All right? Hmm, I can either not feel happy things I want to, or gamble on my ability to uh, resist millions of years of evolutionary biology in the heat of passion. <laughs> and to whoever out there going, but STDs, yes, obviously condoms are important, okay? It doesn't make my point any less valid, though. And I actually had an idea for a male birth control product, and it's pretty clever, all right? And follow me on this. So when the sperm goes swimming towards the egg, like oodly, 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 which of course, you know, is, is how they sound. And then it reaches the egg and burrows inside, at which point the tail, or poodler, which is of course the scientific term, detaches and falls off. Now, something tells the sperm that it has accomplished its goal. Somehow, it knows, I did it! I crossed the finish line! So long, feet! You didn't fail me! So what we do is we figure out a way to trick the sperm while they're still in the balls into thinking that they have crossed the finish line so that all the boodlers fall off. See, told you it was clever. Like, they would be crippled as soon as they hit the pussy, you know? <laughs> they just be floating around like the jizz of Sisyphus. <laughs> so close and yet so far. All right, that's kind of all I had for you guys this evening, so please give it up for your next comedian.